All right, the next step would be validating that SPF record that we created. Um, after going through and collecting all of our sources and then creating that SPF record with our includes and so on, um, we would highly recommend going in and uh, just validating the SPF record to make sure that we don't have any errors. Um, my favorite tool for that is actually uh, this website here. Uh, it's kitterman.com slash SPF slash validate.html. Um, out there on Kitterman, we would just paste in our domain and paste in the SPF record that we created and hit the check SPF record button. And it's going to basically go and just perform a quick test to make sure that uh, it's a sanity check for that uh, SPF record. That way we can see the SPF record that we just created is indeed valid. So if we publish that, it shouldn't cause any issues. Um, in this case, we're just creating uh, a, so for our domain, moderndigitaloffice.com, we're only going to be using Office 365. So we've just created this include for spf.protection.outlook.com. And that's a valid SPF record, so we could then publish it in DNS. Which brings us to our next step.